Hello there and welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing great. And if your lawn isn't, well, we might just have something for that. Wow, the Sunseeker V3. <laughs> Robert Moa that promises to bring back the fun in gardening. And it's not quite a self-driving car, but it feels like your yard just hired its own low-key landscaper. One that works quietly in the background while you do literally anything else. <laughs> no wires, no complicated setups. Just drop it on the green and you're good to go. The tech does the rest. Sounds fun. Let's take a closer look if it really delivers on all those promises and as always, a great product journey starts with a box. You've got the mower, charging garage and a few accessories in the box. Everything packed up clean and simple, which honestly I appreciate. No unnecessary clutter, no overcomplicated setup steps waiting to surprise you. As for the garage setup, also super simple. Just place it where you want your robot to start and return and use the included earth anchors to pin it down. Depending on your soil, you might even be able to push them in with your hands and you don't need any tools for it unless your lawn is secretly made of concrete or any other rock, whatever. <laughs> That's pretty much it. You already have way to automated lawn care. Setting up the mower with the app is refreshingly simple. Just open the app, follow the pairing instructions and you're good to go. There's also a detailed instruction video at the end of the process that includes everything and that leaves no real questions unanswered. So yeah. It features an 18 centimeter cutting width and a manually adjustable cutting height ranging from 20 to 60 millimeters. For best results, Get sure your grass is not taller than 8 cm, otherwise it can have trouble delivering the best results. Best case, you will need a bit of time to get through that first mow. Worst case, it gets stuck and there goes the dream of fully automated lawn care. But honestly, that's something you run with pretty much any robotic mower, so there's no mower out there that can mow any height. So yeah, it's not a real flaw. It's just to keep in mind. Even though you can't adjust any areas in the app, it's not doesn't mean that you have to let the robot run wild in your garden. You have the possibility to use these uh, included magnetic tapes you can distribute through your garden. And right now we have a great shape to test it because we have to write a square here with a long rectangle that we don't need for the testing. So I will just close that area with the tape and after that I would say we just start mowing. Follow me. So let's start that party. It's powered by rear wheel drive and is designed to handle slopes of up to 42%, which is roughly a 22 degree incline. Unfortunately, we weren't able to test its climbing ability as our property doesn't have any significant inclines or uneven terrain. While our robot friend is mowing in the background, let's talk tech a little bit. As mentioned earlier, you don't need to bury any wires on your property. You just put it on the green and press a button and you're good to go. But that comes with a little catch, little catch. Your property should meet some requirements for the Sunseeker V3 working flawlessly. And in our case, perfect conditions. We have a clear edge, we have fans on one end, we have a building on the other end, so it's a clear edge, we have no tree on the property, perfect. Why does it matter? <laughs> it's because the orientation of the robot is solely visual. So we have this two camera array that makes the 3D mapping of its surrounding, but of course it's based on visuals. So if you have a tree and the tree is casting a harsh shadow on the grass, how should he know that this is not, for example, the street starting at the end or the edge of your property or your whatever? And that tag is called VSLAM, which stands for Visual Simultaneous Localization and Mapping. Basically, it uses a 3D binocular camera to visually map your yard while figuring out exactly where it is at all times. Kind of like giving the mower its own eyes. And let's be honest, the camera array looks like a pair of eyes a lot. <laughs> and all of that is possible because of a 5TOPS AI chip. Top 
means tera operation per second. So five tops means it can handle up to five trillion operations every second. That's what gives it the brain power to recognize and avoid over 160 types of opticals from toys and flowers and pots to tools, even small pads so it can mow without getting stuck or confused or even worse <laughs> in terms of pads, whatever. It's built to handle the weather too. It's IPX5 waterproof, which means a bit of rain won't ruin its day. <laughs> In fact, it knows when it's raining thanks to an integrated rain sensor and it automatically heads back to its base as soon as it gets wet. Smart, right? <laughs> Basically, the IPX5 means it can handle splashes, a little rain or even getting hosed off for cleaning. But let's be real, just like you wouldn't leave your phone out in the storm, it's still a smart move to give it a dry, covered spot to park. It will thank you for it in the future. Beside of that, it runs super quiet, only 55 decibels, that's about as loud as normal conversations, so no angry neighbors or interrupted Zoom calls. And yeah, of course it charges itself when it's low on battery and even gets over the air updates. So it's actually gets smarter over time. You can say that. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> So yeah, that's basically it for the Sunseeker V3 Plus. It's smart, independent and honestly, it keeps my yard in better shape than I ever did. <laughs> so if you are also over pushing a mower or just want to reclaim your weekends, this little guy is definitely worth checking out. So of course, the honeymoon phase is one thing and how it holds up over time is another. So we have to find out that case. I will be running it through its paces over the next month, so keep an eye out for a follow-up with the long-term verdict. And all the other informations you will find down below in the descriptions. And as always, if you got questions, drop them in the comments. And if you liked that video, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell button if you're into smart gear reviews. So long as I thank you for watching, go enjoy your yard and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one. Bye bye.